Hey guys, hope you're all well. Right, oh, I'm getting ready for a dirty weekend. Unfortunately, not that type. <laughs> that type. Dirty bike weekend. So, the story so far then. I found out a few things. Uh, thank you to all those who have been giving me a bit of input in the comments about the seals and stuff like that. Really appreciate that. I appreciate all the help in the comments. Uh, some people have pointed some very interesting things out to me over the years that, uh, yeah, it's information that I do take on board. Um, so, this thing. Obviously, we don't know if we still got a problem with the crank seals. Apparently, like I say, I've not stripped one of these bikes before. So apparently, the, the, oil, the oil side of things is this side with the crank seal. The other side is into the electrical side of things. Um, I say we still don't know 100% if that is been done or it's been done to a standard where it has corrected it. We don't know because we had so much oil in the exhaust, it was hard to tell. So I've washed all this out and I've put the burner down there to try and burn as much of it out as possible as well. As you've seen, we completely sort of revamped the, uh, the silencer. So that's all ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is finish draining all the fuel out the engine, that engine, out the tank, uh, make sure it's all spotlessly clean and do a fresh mix. Put that front part of the exhaust back on and fire it up and see what happens. I've also found something else out. So my friend who got this bike was told it was a 1999 since I've been trying to source parts for it some things weren't weighing up and it turns out it's a 97 it's a 99 I believe they went to upside down forks this has got conventional forks in and another thing that gave it away was this plug in the swing arm I believe that was only on the 1997 bikes. So yeah, it's definitely not a 99 anyway. Definitely not. I think between 96, 97, 98, 99, they were fairly similar. But this is definitely a 97. So we're starting to get some parts for it now. We've got some new brake lines. We've got wheel bearings. We've got a complete chain and sprocket kit with new fixings for that um so yeah we're just gaining a nice box of parts and then obviously we'll take this bike to bits and freshen it all up and put it back together i've also got another job in i did say i was going to share some of these this like i say this is what normally goes on in here especially at weekends i try and get to, on top of all these little jobs that come in basically it, it helps give me a bit of a wage because I can get them in, get them out, especially the one I've got on in between all this. My weekend and evening work. But yeah, we got this. Another Honda in the shed. Ah! <laughs> um, and guess what? It don't start. <laughs> it will not run. It looks, looks, looks lovely though, doesn't it? It's a nice looking bike, that is. Look at that. So you probably think, oh, that, that can't be that old. It, I, I think this is an 06, 07. It's had a restyling kit fitted, which sort of makes it a bit more modern. It looks really nice. And it's, it's dripping in carbon fiber parts everywhere. All these nice guards and everything. Real, real carbon fiber as well. None of this stick on rubbish. Got carbon bash plate, carbon tank cover. Yeah, it's very posh. It's got some fancy things done to the engine lot. So what I've got to do with this, at the minute, the, I think today actually, the, today the guy's cleared off on holiday. 
and is back in a week. So I'm going to try and sort that out over this weekend and a few evenings in the week. Now this I've got to uh, do the chain and sprockets because they're about done. Do the oil change, engine gearbox, new oil filter, and obviously, most of all, get it running. Now apparently this has been stood for a while. Now, with it being carburetor, if that's been stood a while with that modern fuel in there, there's a good chance it's blocked the carb up. And also with these, you have to be proper on it with the uh, the valve clearances. If the valve clearances go out, they can be an absolute pain to start. So we're gonna go all through that and sort the spokes out as well. It's got 18 loose spokes on the back wheel, two loose spokes on the front wheel. And we're just gonna go all through it. I'm gonna change the fork guards as well because somebody has fitted a whole shop device onto this one and they break a lot. And someone's tried to bodge it back up. So I'm gonna replace them as well and leave the whole shot device on. Just bang my head. <laughs> it doesn't need a whole shot device on it. Just not something you're just messing about on. Uh, when I come to do that bit, if you don't know what that is, I'll explain it and show you what it does. It, it's, it's just a little gimmicky device. I suppose it's all right if you're racing them, but is not. And I, th I think it's a waste of time putting it back on because it'll just end up breaking that again eventually. Anyway. Back to the Suzuki. Let's get the pipe on and see if we've still got a major smoking problem. I know we're clutching at straws here. I'm just hoping that it could be a combination of these things making it smoke, but let's see. Okay, we've got all that fuel draining out, so I'll uh, sit down and have a cup of tea while that happens, and then we'll do a fresh mix and then put the pipe on. I'm not gonna put the silencer on. We'll just be able to tell with the front pipe on. I'll pop the air filter back on for now as well, so I've got that out. I'm amazed. The air filter's not too bad. It's sort of had a spray with air filter oil here and there in patches. All the inside's clean though, look. So I will give that a wash eventually because uh, it don't look that old, but it needs the air filter oil putting on properly. So what I'll do, I'll wash all that off. What I normally do with these is put them into a shopping bag, spray them with oil inside the bag and then scrunch them all in. Because this air filter oil is horrible to get on your hands. It's like treacle. So do it inside a shopping bag and it'll spread it all out nice and evenly. So we'll do that. Not right now but uh, we'll do that when we come to put it back on the bike for the final time right then we are ready fuel back in pipe on like i say i'm not putting the silencer on i don't know why i'm i'm not feeling very optimistic about it but at the end of the day if it if it smokes like mad uh we just got to get into it and fix it simple as that anyway let's start it up see what happens with this thing <laughs>
uh, as you can see, it's no good. So I guess we've got to investigate the work that was supposedly done. I say it runs great. It's got loads of compression on that kickstart. I can do a compression test on it. But I think we've just got to go through and replace seals and gaskets. I am pretty sure that will correct the problem. And while we're at it, I can make the engine look really nice and clean. Yeah, so that is it really. Um, I want to get me a list together for this thing. Get like a full gasket set, get the seals and just replace them anyway. Like I say, there was some confusion with the, the year of the bike. I'll say for all I know, they could have been a difference in the seals. And that could be why it's still smoking like it is. I don't know at this stage. But the only way I'm going to find out is uh, drop the motor out and I'm going to clean it all up properly and uh, sort it out. We're going to take all this graphics kit off it because a lot of it's peeling off, bubbling, loads of it is dirt got behind it. So even with doing that, freshening all the plastics up, getting them a good clean dressing some scuffs out of them the plastics are actually okay on this thing surprisingly and i think they are all the original plastics so even that will give it a much much fresher look the only one i might keep on is that because that ain't too bad we'll see we'll see how it all goes we'll see what i can get in a full graphics kit and go from there but while the weather's warm i'm going to peel all these off I see how easy that came off. And we gotta get all that horrible gunk off. But I say the plastics are in very, very good condition, really. So they won't take that much tidying up. Let's see if we can find a nice sort of retro-y looking kit for it we'll see i'll see what's out there oh that one feels a bit tougher oh that is a tough one Ooh, let's get a bit of heat on that i think that's getting it right moving forward to the following day it's now sunday saturday got really really busy uh, a friend turned up with a job which i have done well sort of i think it's, it's ready a van grill <laughs> so that was silver and he wanted it like a satin matte black so i flatted it all out yesterday and got some paint on it i've done another coat this morning before all the flies wake up hopefully it will flash off before any flies start landing on it <laughs> it's not the perfect environment for painting in here but being a bit careful you can get stuff all right but yeah i'm waiting for that to flash off then i can kick that outside the honda as you can see we've been progressing with that so yesterday we checked the valve tolerances on that it's all good it's all okay as i said this would not start but we actually got it started yesterday um but it's a bit upset around quarter throttle so i'm gonna have the carb off and give that a clean out i'm also gonna put a new spark plug in there let's have a look at the old plug i will add 40 quid for a spark plug yeah 40 quid honda <laughs> so it's an ngk r8 <laughs> but i think 
I don't know if you'll pick this one the GoPro. I think the spark's been tracking around. You'll see. I don't know if you'll see it. Oh, that's the GoPros are rubbish. So you have to bear with me. You'll see like a real clean bit round the edge of the spark plug. Some of it's got the usual blacking on, and then it's patches that are really shiny right on the edge it's like the spark's been tracking over to there sort of eroding away but yeah i'm gonna bang a new plug in it it's all you know it all goes towards making the bike run nice and start easy which is the most important thing so 40 quid will get you a tiny little ngk spark plug like that how about that crazy anyway so i'll get the plug get that in get the carb off the under clear all that out do the spokes do the chain and sprocket do the oil change i've took the fork the fork shrouds off which are all broke up because that's silly oil shock device oh let me get that let me get let me go and get the oil shock device it's, it's, it's pointless it's a pointless thing on a on a dirt bike that you've just messing about over the quarry or the fields with so it's got this on look See that button there which puts a catch in there which then I've loosened all this off which then slots into that so you press it in it catches that locks the suspension down low for launching your bike off the start line and the first time the suspension sort of compresses again it releases that and you've sort of got your suspension back on the first bump you hit or whatever so yeah a bit of a pointless device messing about on the bike because that's what happens it breaks it all then someone tries to bodge it with all these little fixing brackets which I don't quite understand because these are like 25 quid the pair you know if you want if you need to save money that's fair enough I guess yeah so that uh, that'll go in the bin and I'll order some new ones I think because you sort of left me to it I think I'm gonna order white they're black there's no other bit of black plastic on the bike at all. So we got red, white, red, white. It's got to be white, hasn't it? Got to be. I think it'll look all right like that. So yeah, I'm going to replace them. All the brakes are good. I've checked over them. Um, not sure about the spokes on the back wheel, if they're going to tighten up. Uh, I've experienced in the past where they've at the end of their adjustment and you can't tighten them up. So I'll see how that goes. That wheel may need relacing, but we'll see. Anyway, I think that's about caught up. <laughs> Today, hopefully, will go nice and smooth. Yesterday went nice and smooth. It's just there's loads going on. So hopefully today I'll get this in bits. Let's see how we go. Right, just before I get cracking on the rest of this thing then, we took the, the rear mud guard off yesterday. Um, let's have a look. As you can see, the mounting point for that side is fine, but that side is torn out. Plus we got holes, just random holes drilled in the end of it. So, I've ordered a new one. Uh, I know you can mess about with trying to plastic weld things and all that. That That's fine for cracks, but chunks of it missing ain't so good. A brand new Polysport rear mug guard, £21. It ain't worth messing about. So one of them is on the way. Well, it will be next on Monday, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that can basically go in the bin. The time it would take to try and tackle that and um, it, it's never going to mount right trying to remount it like that it the mudguard was all wobbly anyway so yeah 
new ones on the way right the rest of it as you can see let's do some close-ups before it comes apart it's a little on the rough side it is let's have a look down there on the bottom Yeah, well, we'll get this looking all right. Front mug guard's fine. I'll get that looking all good. The pipe's got a few dings in there. I think I'll have a, have a go at getting them out. I've got a way I can do that that I've done in the past on two strokes. So we'll have a crack at that. I'm going to get all the kit to uh, do all the brakes, all the service kit, so all the brakes are tipped up. Obviously, we've got the lines and everything, so we'll get all that sorted. And obviously, most importantly on this bike, we'll get that engine right. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be absolutely fine. There's, I know there's going to be sort of the camp that's saying that that bike's bad throw it away and all that i get that at the end of the day like i say he wants this bike he loves this bike and we're going to make it good for him uh that engine i think with a bit of tinkering around we'll get that absolutely tip top anyway let's get the rest of it apart get all these rusty fixings gone about there's a washer sellotape to the inside look <laughs> interesting <laughs> that is actually uh, fine a couple of little scuffs but really really light scuffs so I think that will clean up absolutely fine
Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, what's down there? It's so interesting. <laughs> right, that's it. It's in bits. Not a lot to it, is they? A Suzuki, more or less in two boxes. The smoky old lump. And the rough old frame. Yeah, so I think I've got to do, well, I don't think, I know. Fair repair here. It looks like it's had a different coil fitted because it's only on one fixing. As you see this, it looks like that one's broken. That's about the only thing I see wrong with this. Uh, that's really easy to do. I'll soon have that done. No problem at all. So that will be going for powder coating. Shot blasted and powder coating. It's, it's got to be blue. I know there's going to be uh, different camps there. Do it how it should be, which I believe is like a gunmetally grey colour. Obviously, at some point it was yellow. Yeah. I've seen them with yellow frames. I don't think they look right. Especially because you're not going to be able to replicate the yellow of the plastic exactly. So it looks a bit of a mis mismatch. Uh, I think some of the early Suzuki's with blue frames look absolutely fantastic. So I think that's the way it's going. And we'll do the spring on the back shop blue as well. Just to set it off. I think that will have a nice fresh look to it. And obviously all the engine cleaned up. And uh, back in the frame and build it back up. It's not a lot to it, is they? It's they're so simple, so so simple. I really really enjoy working on them. To be honest, I could do a few of these. I'll be very happy. But uh, I'll have the forks off the wheel or the wheel out the forks, whichever way you want to put it, and go over them. That won't take much doing. And as I go through it, just. Uh, drag each bit out of the boxes and clean them up and bolt it back together as uh, as we go along with new fixings so i think next installment on the rm will be going over the engine and be interesting to find out why it's smoking so much and did that previous guy who supposedly fixed it did he do actually do anything? So that'd be a nice little investigation to dip into that engine and see if, uh, see what them crank seals are like. But at the end of the day, we're going to replace everything and put some new gaskets on it and give it a good clean up. And it should look all right. And I think it'd be absolutely fine. All right, that'll do me. It's, it's getting late again. Uh, I'm gonna, I've got my computer here ready ready to edit this video that you've just watched and then I think I'm going to get my head down in here for a couple of hours and then crack on with another job stay out of trouble and all that I think that's what Blue's doing as well is I'm going to cool down on the cool floor so it's been a hot day it's been absolutely beautiful should have been out on the bike but yeah, there's, there's work to do anyway that'll do cheers for watching guys take care Thank <laughs> you.